Uh, I wish there, and I'm sure at some point we will have uh, a function on the board uh, to indicate what's about to take place. Uh, Sam uh, cannot do this with me because he is otherwise indisposed. But, dude. Uh, <laughs> dude. 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 But anyways, uh, our pal, Scotty B., Scott Brown, he's still pursuing the Senate race uh, in New Hampshire, which is frankly, uh, in a certain sort of wickedly awesome way, he's uh, he's going after Gene Shaheen. And as I said before, first Senate race, <laughs> I beat Martha Coakley, bag. Second race, lost to Elizabeth Warren, bag. Uh, and third race, uh, I'm going after Gene Shaheed. So this is the this is the tie break, dude. And but the uh, the difficulty for Scott Brown uh, running for Senate in New Hampshire is that not only is he not from New Hampshire, he's actually been uh, the senator from uh, Massachusetts, which was the vehicle that like allowed him to meet and do you know like policy with kings and queens and stuff. And by the way, if you want secret investment tips from kings and queens that I have known as well as a health supplement that will make you party like a rock star until the wee hours of the morning, sign up for my newsletter, Scott Brown Newsletter. Got all the information for you. It's rad, no problem. But anyways, back to the uh, serious matter of the Senate race. Not that partying is a serious matter. There's some problems that people are bringing up, claiming that because I'm not from New Hampshire... I won't represent the state properly. And that's why I have uh, John Sununu, who's a friggin' former New Hampshire politician and also, incidentally, one of the biggest scumbags in the history of politics on either side and a relentlessly unpleasant, unlikable human being. He's out there going to bat for me up in New Hampshire. And I'll turn to my regular voice to tell you what Scott, what John Sununu said about Scott Brown. This is what Scott uh, John Sununu, who's a former uh, governor of New Hampshire, major figure in the first Bush administration, uh, and one of the most unpleasant uh, TV talking heads on behalf of Romney, had to say. We just got to remind people that he's coming back to his roots, Sununu said of Brown at a Portsmouth rally in Portsmouth. To him, it is Shaheen, not Brown, who's the real outsider. She votes with Elizabeth Warren. She votes with Ed Markey. She's the third senator from Massachusetts, Sununu told supporters at a Portsmouth rally before introducing Brown. Scott's happiest days as a young man were in New Hampshire. And I just got to jump in here for a second, John, because that is absolutely radically true. Because when I was a young dude, I would go to New Hampshire to the Lickamot, and you would get, you'd do a packy run. Any day of the week, no blue laws in New Hampshire, as I recall. And I remember literally stopping before the Portsmouth exit because I was so drunk, I actually had to puke on the side of the road. So I had a wicked awesome time in New Hampshire as a kid. <laughs> no drunk driving, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, so Sununu went on to say, Scra uh, Brown was virtually born in New Hampshire, by which he meant Brown was born in Maine. So look, Scotty, speaking to you as one mass hole to another, dude, you got to find another surrogate to make your case, and you got to just go to the people in New Hampshire and say, look, number one, New Hampshire's wicked awesome. Number two, I did get drunk here frequently as a young person and as an adult. Number three, I want back in the Senate and you're the natural place for me to make a comeback. Come on, what do you say? It'll be rad. Just speak clearly to your listeners, man. Don't try to spin too hard. Just say those three things, and you'll still lose, but at least you'll have some integrity while you do it, buddy. That really is something, though, isn't it? You know, like, dude, don't listen to her. She's from Massachusetts. She's, she's not even a real she's New Hampshire. practically from Massachusetts. I mean, like, she grew up here, and I grew up there, but it's almost like a time travel thing. Like, it's like, <laughs> high, it's like Highlander with, like, 
I was in the wrong body except it's the wrong state. Like, not the wrong body because my body's red, but, like, the wrong state. <laughs> and now, like, I'm coming back to New Hampshire, which is, like, the right state. And she wants to go to Massachusetts. But I'm just like, nah, like, I'm going to be from New Hampshire. And what are you going to do? You're going to retire because I'm the new senator. Oh. Listen, listen, I was – I can't do the voice as well as you, but I was, like, physically in Massachusetts. Like, I was born there, but my heart and mind – was always in New Hampshire. <laughs> when I wasn't like talking to royalty, I, I would tell a queen, I'd be like, you know what my favorite place in New Hampshire? I told queens that when I was You know what my favorite you know you know what my favorite place is? You know, if you just put aside Massachusetts for a second. New Hampshire. Yeah. No, I mean New Ham- no, I mean look, New Hampshire dude, Massachusetts is weak. Uh until right. uh, I, I lose in New Hampshire and then I go back to Massachusetts and I want to run there again. Then I'm gonna, I was born in Maine. What's <laughs> up, dude? <laughs> Maine is the most rad state available. Listen, if you got Let me be your senator. Listen, if you've got clam chowder, there's no reason I can't be your senator. Dude, people in Maine like high risk behavior at times. There's a drinking culture here. Uh looks like there might be some female politicians for me to take on because I like to run misogynist campaigns against them. Uh Maine, here I come. Dude. I was born here. I mean, New Hampshire, I practically lived in like, in my soul, like, spirit guide, sort of. But, like, Maine, I was, like, born in. Whatever scenario, not from Massachusetts. Screw that place. I can't believe they voted for Elizabeth Warren over me.